नमस्ते जय शिवाय वेरी कोल्ड वेदर एंड वेरी ब्यूटीफुल दो आउटसाइड सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट मेनी टाइम्स सीकर्स हैव आस्ट दिस क्वेश्चन लाइक वॉट शुड दे बी पुटिंग देयर धार ना ऑन राइट वॉट शुड दे पुट देयर धार ना ऑन सो एसेंशियली दे आर आस्किंग अबाउट वॉट इंटरनल ऑब्जेक्ट और एक्सटर्नल ऑब्जेक्ट कैन बी यूज फॉर धारना सो यू नो देर इज नो प्रेस्क्राइब आंसर फॉर इट द उपनिषद्स एंड गुरुज विल टेल यू यूज द गॉड सिंबल यूज दिस यंत्रा यूज द स्पेस इन फ्रंट ऑफ योर आईज वेन यू क्लोज योर आईज द स्पेस इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू इट्स कॉल्ड एज चिदा काशा सो यूज दैट or they will tell you to put your focus in your heart the space in your heart and that means they are saying put your focus into hridaya akasha okay hridaya akasha means the space around your anahata chakra anahata vishuddhi and that space hridaya akasha so these are more subtle dharanas actually and third space could be the muladhara chakra and swadeshthana chakra and manipura chakra so space down below that is called as dahara kasha so these three internal spaces can be used but one caution needs to be maintained and what is that that is if you are not yet ready to look into the depths and the darkness within anything may come out right so if you are not ready to deal with it do not put your dharana on such things do not put your dharana on these three spaces because these are the unknown uncharted territory for you unknown territory for you the depths what the these unknown dark depths will bring out you don't know that so if you do not have a guru or uh, anyone around you to guide you properly any guru around you to guide you properly then do not practice such unknown dharanas okay such is do not use these spaces cheta kasha hridaya kasha and dahara kasha do not use them for your dharana instead use some external object now when it comes to external object many of you ask that can i use this symbol that symbol this god that god <laughs> let me tell you a story there was a king he loved his jewels and gold and his bracelets and all his jewelry and in his kingdom and he was way too much in love with all that when he once goes to the guru and guru tells him to do dharana and guru gives him some symbol for god and he says put your dharana on that symbol every time he used to put his dharana on that symbol automatically his mind will drift onto the gold bracelet that he was wearing <laughs> no matter how hard he tried every time his dharana his mind will very easily very softly drift away into the gold bracelet then he realized he actually is in love with his gold bracelet <laughs> so then guru said very good your mind has already found what to put what it can get attached to the reins that you need for taming your mind the object that you need to tame your mind your mind has already found it why struggle use your gold bracelet for dharana <laughs> so that's it because the point here is it actually does not matter we are not trying to learn here the nature of gold bracelet we are only trying to learn the nature of our mind right 
the chitvrittis, the mental, emotional, behavioral patterns. So we are trying to learn what is within us by putting our one-pointed attention, focus onto something external. Later in life when you will be meditative, you will realize that actually it does not matter. All the internal objects, all that is without is within as well and there is no difference between within and without. So actually it does not matter what you are putting your dharana upon. Yes, when you are doing it step by step, it does matter. From the process standpoint, it does matter. From the end result standpoint, it does not matter. Okay? So you can easily put your dharana on something that stays way too, way too much in your head. Okay? Any object you can use. And if you want to find out, then do not decide anything. Just sit quietly for a few minutes. See what comes into your mind. Close your eyes. Sit quietly. See what comes in your mind. What flashes in your mind? Do this for at least a week and you will figure out what you can put your dharana on easily. Dharana means one-pointedness, one-pointed focus, one-pointed attention, which helps you be meditative, which helps you land in dhyana, meditation. You can meditation cannot just happen, right? It has to actually happen. You cannot do it. All you can do is just put dharna. So you can put dharna on something that automatically comes from within. If you are not able to focus on that which your guru is giving you. <laughs> okay? And make sure for all the internal dharnas, the seekers are advised to have a guru. Internal dharnas are not easy to handle alone. Dharna results into emotional outburst. Right? Imagine when you, are, you have suppressed all your emotions all your life and when you are cooking or cleaning or gardening or driving or doing your work in your office, at that time as well you are able to feel that pain, right? It goes in the background. But when you are doing dharna, that very same emotional pain, emotional emotions are going to come to the foreground. You need a guru to be able to explain you all that, to be able to help you with difficult times. Otherwise, you will start playing within in the imaginary world. That is also another thing that you need to be cautious about. Not playing with your imaginary world inside and being able to handle the emotional outburst. Okay? So before you start your internal dharna, make sure you have a guru. All the seekers need guidance for such things. Okay? Namaste. Jai Shivai.